Oh, hey, hi, I'm Jalen Johnston. Welcome to day 22 of VEDA 2013. Vlogging every day in April, almost. I've missed one. And you know what? I don't regret it. Because it would have been weird and disruptive to somebody else's event if I'd pulled out my vlogging camera in the middle of it. So I stand by it. Vlogging every day in April, almost. Hi guys, I'm still at work. It's nine at night. I um, can never get out of here on time. Never. Because uh, one of the things that is uh, on my plate is maintaining the workstations here. I'm not technically an IT guy, but I think I'm just the most patient and maybe I happen to know the most of uh, the people that are in the office, so that became my job. Well, the problem is, if I'm going to do any of this maintenance, like, oh, hey, um, so-and-so's uh, hard drive is full, but there's a, an extra internal hard drive that we could put in and, and transfer stuff over. Can you take care of that? Uh, yeah, I can do that, but I can't do that while she's on her workstation. So that means that I have to wait till she's done with her work day before I can go and get in on that action. So uh, I do stuff like that. And um, yeah, right now one of the backup drives, not a primary drive, but uh, one of the backup drives that I use to back up our servers with is acting weird. So um, how do we race it? and start backups all over from the very beginning. Uh, so, you know, when you do the brand new backups, they take a long time. They take a long time. Uh, as opposed to the incremental backups where it only backs up the files that have changed or the files that are new. That happens pretty quick. So, um, toying with the idea of sticking around until the thing is done with its backup because that drive has been weird so I kind of want to make sure it happens but then again it's just a backup drive and not not like the server itself that's being weird so I think I'm pretty safe just to let that go and actually get out of here um, seeing as it's going on 10 hours that I've been at work no it's going on 11 hours yeah so, we'll see. But man, you know, I, I, uh, I would love to get to work on time, and then work a normal day, and then go. But the problem is I can't really just, I can't do everything that I need to do with everybody there during normal work hours. So my only defense, my only defense, is to deliberately show up late. Um, ooh, it's dark in here. So, uh, it's not that I'm a terrible employee, and to my boss's credit, he knows that I'm not a terrible employee. He knows that, in general, if I show up after lunch, it's probably either because I stayed way late the night before, and I'm taking some of my hours back, or I know there's something that I have to do that night, and so I'm going to be staying late, so why would I show up on time if I'm just going to stay late? You know, trying to save him the overtime. Right? So there's my random, my random work hours, rambling. Everyone has a job. Everyone works. Everyone deals with this stuff. But this one's mine. Right? Yeah. I got friends that are out. They're, uh, they played at Hotel Cafe at 7. Didn't get to see them. Um, but now I guess they're hanging out still. I got some other friends that are hanging out at a karaoke place. Uh, all of those things are things that I would love to show you, but one of the reasons, again, deliberately, that I don't show you this stuff, this live music stuff or the karaoke stuff, is because literally it is illegal for me to post videos of someone else's music without their permission in writing and prove it to YouTube. That is a pain in my... So... I leave that stuff out of the vlog. Same with karaoke tracks, same thing. Technically, we're all supposed to pay people uh, if we're going to show that stuff online. So I, um, I like to go by the books, man. I like to keep it straight.
I like to keep it real. Uh, but um, I haven't eaten yet. I'm going to go do that. At some point, probably grab something quick and really terrible for me. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a busy day tomorrow. We've actually got a kind of a name celebrity coming in uh, to do some voiceover stuff for this project that we're working on. Um, so i got to get here early again, make sure all the paperwork's in place, and then uh, run down to the recording studio and uh, get all the signatures and stuff. Uh, I'm going to call them autographs, but really it's just for like payroll paperwork and uh, work contract stuff. Um, so i got to do that tomorrow morning. Um, so, here we go. Might be a short overnight. Wish me luck. Okay? Okay. Rambling work vlog out. Okay, bye. Oh, wait. You know what I did do? Uh, remember how I keep taking things incrementally on the motorcycle to the house that I'm subletting now? Well, I took things out of that duffel bag, and I filled them up in this smaller duffel bag that's very easily strappable onto the motorcycle. And I'm, uh, I'm taking that back to the house now, so that's cool. And then in that duffel bag is the couple pairs of shoes that I had left and uh, also a sleeping bag. So now I can just leave that at the house. I'll have everything finally in one place. And I don't have to worry about this. This can just be for things like my laptop bag and a couple of hats. Those were in here too, so I'm taking them back. And then tomorrow, when I leave work, I can just strap that duffel bag on the bike, take it to the house, I'll be done. And I didn't have to pester any of my friends and ask to borrow their cars or any of that crap. Self-sufficient. Hooray. Get her done. Okay, now I'm done. Okay, bye.